Hello, uh, my name is James Clappy. I'm recording this video for my UEFA A license. Um, we've been asked to clip um, a recent game with some key improvements that we could make from that game. So the topic that I've chosen to perform um, for my coaching session is defending from the front. So I've got three or four clips and um, probably not the historic way of Historically, the main way that people would defend from the front would, would start from the goalkeeper. Um, a lot of the clips are actually in play um, pieces of information that I'm going to show here this evening. Um, so we'll start with clip one. A um, couple of things to keep your eye on. The number nine, um, as the play develops, um, is out position straight away. Um, and the whole actual press then is... Com uh, compounded in terms of a negative because of it. So we'll go from there and just let this clip play. And you can see here number nine is just right at the picture there wearing the number 14 jersey but playing in that central role. Um, what we see in the clip now, this is the number nine over here who we alluded to in terms of being out, out of shape. This is our number 11 so the wide centre forward has come to press the ball. Um, He's done so probably not aggressively enough. The number six who's dropped in to receive the ball has a little bit of time to take a touch and then play wide. Um, and our number 10 who's in this position, and that probably should have been our number nine. So the number 10 has had to come in and do that role in terms of pressing the number six. Uh, so when the number six gets it, um, for a loan, that should have been the trigger for our guy down here who was our left back to come into shot to be able to press the, the right back and as a plays you'll see that doesn't happen our number 10 gets quite close comes in again, gets his head down, sends them back for me, again, no real issue there um, so the ball goes into our number 6 as we said um, he's tracked by our, he, he should be now tracked by our number 9 but isn't he's still out of shape, still out of position and is for the whole move as it develops uh, so the number 10 presses the ball he does so, and does actually okay to be honest um, while the shape is still there so for the, the centre mid off at long out to the right um, and that should have been as I said a mental trigger for our left back to be able to get up and press in that shape then again uh, this means that the centre mid has to come out wide again we can see him pictured here as the number 10 and the right back goes back with the ball um, to their centre back which ideally what you'd be wanting is their centre back to receive it and air wide left to be up a little bit higher to be able to stop him from playing uh, when he receives it his head is down anyway but due to the, 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 sh the position of the number nine still he can't do two jobs so he's decided to drop a little bit deep and come into the six but as you can see in the picture now although it's a poor uh, video in terms of quality uh, what we can see is that they've created a 3v2 on this side of the pitch. So at this stage, the 9 could at least be 5 yards deeper. Uh, because the right side of the player, the number 7, could deal with, with, with the ball if it went out to the left centre back. So uh, if I stop, I'm really concerned because real, realistically, after 5 passes in their half with the ball at this stage now, um, we've got no closer to winning the ball back and in fact what tends to what what happens now in the build up is they actually get out because of it so again we've gone in uh, the number nine is still far too high and should be dropping into this position playing in a 4-3-3 and number 10 again tries to press the ball gets nowhere near it um, our other two midfielders um, who are possibly too deep come into shot now so one tries to come in to press the ball the ball is played through um, into their player again, who's their number nine, he's just dropped in to receive it, um, and our centre mid, the other um, deeper part of the, the tree in there, uh, should have been able to deal with that, but his miles off it as well. Possibly the number seven has done enough, because he's in tight, um, this ball from the nine could be played back for a bounce pass uh, out wide this way if they liked, but he had enough time to, to get on it. And if I allow it, he possibly could have actually carried the ball forward into this position. By him playing the ball wide, it's actually given us a chance to recover. And as this develops here again, you'll see all of this eluding and starting from the, the pass that, or the, the force pass made by Alone. And because of our number nine being out of shape, all of this is actually transported. Um, further up the pitch then as well so you could make reference to the time and the space that they have but it's all because of their poor positioning i guess okay again if i just press play on this here 
what we'll see then again is the ball is delivered wide so we now cover a balance so if you look at the, the position now at the moment there are two center backs a they're not in line and um, their center forward is, is possibly in line with their other center back so if this ball is played around this corner here he's probably in on goal uh, the number five need he's too narrow needs to be a little bit out further to be able to protect the, the fullback if he goes wide and goes by him but in this case this is all about communications so there's got to be communication here as he travels with the ball somebody's got to be saying to him look send them inside right we've recovered send them inside now there's three of us here and um, and again the the right back actually does well enough delay or deny we always say in terms of counter attacking as a, as a defensive unit can we delay them or can we deny them he does delay them and he also denies the space because he slows him up a little bit but what we tend to see is because of the number five the center back should have been able to get out and stop this or at least provide um cover and balance for the right back uh one of the midfielders who was 20 25 yards out of it has now got to make this run out there in, in terms of protection of the right back if he goes by him um as you can see he does go by him and now our number five is out uh eventually but so is our uh, right center forward there, our right back. And there's our two center mids as well. And as you can see, we get lucky and the ball goes out play. The main point with this is that the number nine's position at the start of it has led to them being able to play out. Our 10 probably intention really good, but didn't need to go in and press alone. Uh, pressing in a one is never useful in them situations and they produced the 3v2 and got out quite easily um, but from the number nine the rest of the positions defensively were pretty poor okay, so let it play on again okay so the next clip um, pretty similar in terms of where it's where it is uh, their number five gets on the ball center back they've, they've got the ball back there um, air number nine is in just stand still he just needs to stand still doesn't need to be going into any mad areas there yeah you could say right okay if he tries to cut this pass out here he might get a chance to get in on goal but the left center or the right center back is playing this to the goalkeeper so air number nine in the shape that we're playing and what we were trying to achieve should never be making this run from there towards to the goalkeeper and we'll see what actually happens and how it actually results in a consequence again He's done a he's done a half press. Um, he, he's kind of run at an angle, and then changed his mind at the last minute with it. Um, so the position again is pretty poor there. So when the left sided centre back gets it, our right sided centre forward is now coming into shot. Yeah, okay, he's he's doing it with with a good bit of pace. But what we're actually going to find here is um, two of them actually don't affect the ball whatsoever so he's coming to shot now center back has loads of time on it and um, okay we've blocked off the goalkeeper but essentially you'd rather him going back to the goalkeeper than playing forward and because of this position from the right center uh, right center forward now again if we go back to where they started with the number nine the right center forward has probably come up to try and support them because he's done that ball's played into the midfield and you can see the the the, the their left sided um wide man just comes in plays a little bounce pass and if i stop it there i can count one two three four people out of the game with that pass that's in into into that player because of what's happened here with air number nine being over eager pressing in in ones almost and then the the right uh, the wide right man trying to come into shot as well it's gone in they've played through it again um, and all because of that our positions um, defensively are still all off the ball goes wide and they actually um, they get a shot away but again where does it start it starts from the front they've been playing out from the front and our number nine has made a poor decision in terms of going in to press the goalkeeper when that's not needed whatsoever okay so for for defending from the front with example number three we've gone for a different type of clip this time um it's it's an example in relation to um playing a long ball um, again why how are they able to do that uh, there's no pressure being applied on the ball if you look at this we've got our three center forwards here 
we've got the wide right one over here we've got our number 10 in a position that doesn't really need to be in that position whatsoever um again our number nine you'd have to say possibly should be a little bit deeper definitely behind this uh i'm gonna call him a number six coming uh looking for the ball again this time the difference with defending from the front we get caught up in the the misconception that that just means the forward players or whatever it is but defending from the front obviously happens for the the individual uh, the unit and then the team and if we look at the gap in between our, our center forwards with one of our midfielders to the other two uh, midfielders here and our defense you'll see that the gap is massive and because of that gap and um, they've got the ability to be able to play a ball over the top of this um, which you throw a blanket over um, and we'll just play it forward ball clipped over here into the wide man again no real pressure being, being applied on the ball they go back okay again if you stop it here you're thinking shape isn't the worst thing in the world but you'd have to allude to the number nine's position again um what is he actually affecting here okay if the left back comes back with the ball he can play to the left center back but really if the left back wants can touch it and play out into the other center back and they're out this side with the with the right back then again instead we'll see because of the the the, the, sh the lack of urgency in terms of the press and the defending from the front the left the, the left back here has been able to clip a ball into the 10 you can see the number sign number nine on screen and again you can see they've just they're just passing the ball with no real pressure applied on it it's come across here and the reason why this clip is in here is that they've been able to build up play and uh, when this pass from the center mid comes in here to the wide right man this is now the 12th pass so they've went from their own half one clip over our units in terms of our center forwards into our uh, over our center forwards and our center mids effectively um, and now our defenders have got, got into a position where we weren't tight enough to affect it the right back should have gone and won it um, and their um, right back now is in a position where if I allow play forward okay you can see I just want to get it right that they've actually got it if they got a better ball into the box here that we've got a 1v1 here and a 1v1 at the back which all started again from no real con concerted effort of pressure again it's not a witch hunt it's no indictment on the number nine but the, the number nine's positioning had cost us in that situation and then no communication between the units in terms of our number 10 should have been able to drop or certainly when that ball was clipped from the left center back uh, over to the wide man uh, one of the center midfielders should have been in a position or area to be able to stop it at all the ball actually is put out of play by their way okay so we're on to uh, example four here and um, this example is actually should have been broken down into two parts so i apologize for that and um, i'm going to try and do that if, if needs be to edit but and um, we're going to show an example of two uh, from the same one which actually results in them scoring but the as you'll see with the the development of this this clip here um, it's actually from us scoring so we've literally just scored here we're getting into position we've done so um, and uh, Alon are just about to tip off here so as I said we just we just scored effectively what you see here is that the 10 goes into the number nine's position uh, they go back with the ball um, obviously just after scoring really eager okay want to press the ball get after the ball win it back all these type of cliches and stuff that goes with it again and the 10 has probably just made an emotional decision there uh, this is our number 10 here so look even at that you're saying already right, he's in the number nine position so this is the number nine who's out wide left there so if the, no, the the wide left is in a position that the 10 would usually be in you still say oh we're pretty happy with that shape there um our wide right so our, our wide right center forward with then again he's making a movement towards going up to be able to stop the ball coming out here to the left hand side but as you see it develops again um what we see is our number nine's in a position there where possibly shouldn't be uh, the 10 has made the emotional decision and now our number seven is trying to come back as well so this is when we kind of realize that we've we've gotten ourselves into a, a bad position but this is just two passes one pass there and again they've taken out one two and three of our players with one single pass possibly this this wide left player here as well um, and you see how, as it develops again by that simple pass they're out here again and our shape is just um it's kind of non-existent so they come back with it okay you're saying to yourself right okay it's fine but out shot here 
as you can see, we've got our number 10, we've got a wide right, got a wide left, and this is one of our center mids. What's happened is one of our nine, our number nine has actually tracked the ball all the way back here. And because of that, it's gonna affect the whole shape again here as the ball comes back across. So we're at number nine then, he's coming back in into play. He starts speaking, and here he is here. He starts speaking to the wide right player. I think he's telling him to go back and recover to, to deal with the player who's made the movement. But you'll see that they get out the other side. And we're lucky in the sense that they've decided to go along with it here again. And um, you can pick up a couple of players that are free. Uh, the ball's played across. Um, we misjudged the header, so the day. And we get out the other side. So, okay, defending from the front. We're in our own half. Um, this is the next clip. We're in our own half. Um, this is our number nine out here. He's tried to hold the ball up and, and, and it's been unsuccessful in doing so. Our number 10 is trying to apply pressure to the ball. Here's our other deep center mids. And, and here's the other one here who's not really engaging with this player who's possibly going to go and look for it. Our wide left player, again, you'll see what the error that, that occurs with it. Goes to their center back. No real pressure again, as we keep saying. Not real pressure seems to be a constant theme here in terms of them uh, playing out on us trying to defend from the front. The 10 is caught in a position where he shouldn't really be doing either of them movements, but again, he's looking after the player here who could be coming in to take the ball to get in a position as a number six historically, as we'd say. Um, and the wide right center back can now carry the ball. You can see we're leaving gaps all over. Um, our centre mid isn't really engaging either, the 10 is out of the game. Our wide left decides to come in narrow now, um, although this, the, the, the left centre mid could have dealt with the, the, the right centre back. The centre mid here, the other centre mid, air number 18 could have dealt with that. And by this player now making a decision, based off the fact that the centre back has been able to carry the ball, you'll see in the build up and the development of this play how it's had a consequence on us. So they're able to play through the middle of us, okay, if the wide left player had got a touch on it here, we would have been in transition to, at uh, to attack um, and we might have been able to counter attack successfully. But he was never in a position to win it, the video as I suggested at the start should be and could be better. The ball goes through and it's a little pop out to the wide man who's now got acres of space because of the decision that the left uh, sided centre forward has made and the ball comes out wide a little one two here good play from them really poor from us and it's all led to this ball they've got numbers in the box one two three and um, we've got people trying to get out to stop the cross um, and as you see as it develops could have been a penalty um, every uh, back has been attracted to the ball, made a silly challenge, probably would have been given us a penalty anyway. Um, so the other centre back, our shot here now, ball delivered and goal scored from it then again. Okay, so that's my clips in terms of the UEFA license. I'll be producing a session plan based off the clips that I've shown you here today. And I will also be delivering the, the coaching session practice shortly, um, which will be attached to this video as well. So for now, uh, thank you very much. Good to go. Right lads, so a couple of teams starting off. Uh, my name is James, I'm a first team coach with, with, with Carl Mangas, as you're aware of. I work as part of the Stewie's backroom staff. Um, this time of the year, I have to record the session audio wise as well, so I'm not being rude or listening to music or anything while we're here. I just have to record the audio as well as the video that uh, Ivan is doing for me. So as I said, um, my name is James Claffey. My session for the UEFA A license final evaluation is defending from the front. That's my topic. It's with a high press. 
so it's going to be the Blues playing out from the back in a 4-3-3, uh, three, three, a 1-4-3-3 three, three, versus the Reds in a 1-4-3-3 three, three as well. So what I'll be doing is I'll be orientating the Blues to start off with. What does that mean? I'll just be showing you how to play the way I want you to play. So Blues, just think Man City. I want you to get in the ball, centre-backs, trying to find that midfield, playing in around the towards, playing through the towards then again. Um, so a couple of things as well. It's obviously a cold night there, so I have the whistle. So when I blow the whistle, the whistle, just stop and stand still wherever you are. Okay, I'll try to recreate the picture as best I can. And when I shout reset, where you start off with your position, I want you to get back there. Okay, so it's essential if the ball has come out to the right hand side and it's gone out of play, and I want to reset with the keeper down here. When I shout reset, you all get back into position. So you can see the setup that I have there. Reds, your positions are there in the 4 3 3 versus the Blues in their 4 3 3. If at any stage tonight you're wondering, keep coming back to the term, defend them from the front with a high press. Yeah? So a high press, be aggressive, win the ball. Grab your bibs, uh, let's get started. Ball down that goal. Sorry, Steph. Let's get going, come on, into position, let's go! Goalkeeper has the ball down here! Ball is down here! Let's get into shape! Ball is down here to start! Keeper, hold on! Every time I let you know when to play, okay? Are we all in position? Yeah? Okay, keeper, off you go, play! Go on, play, play! Go, ball back with the keeper, reset! Let's get back into shape. Hold the keeper. Yeah, and play. Look. Go on, play. Play with him. Back to the goalkeeper, reset! Reset positions! Hey, come on! Nice and sharp! Into position! Keeper holding up! Okay! Oranges are going to walk with the blues here! All you're doing is shadowing! You're making your move, you're not making a tackle! Yeah? So, if the keeper plays it to the right back, play it! Yeah, I'm going to show you the way I want you to play! Centre back, play it into your centre mid. Yeah, touch, no, no tackle. Play out to your wide man now. Yeah, oranges, hold it up. Oranges, what are we doing as the ball moves? We're moving as the ball moves, okay? Man out this side, open your body up. Where's me number nine off the blues? Yeah, put me in my head. There we go. In you go, got a chance on goal. So Blues are looking, Man City, can we play? Always play when we can. Open your body, get the passes out. Yeah? Back to the goalkeeper. Yeah. And are we reset? Are we reset? Play! 
Let's get reset! Let's get reset! Okay, keep up play! Yep! Go on, play! Take the throw! Play real! Play real! Take the throw! into our shape. Wait for the keeper. Back into shape, Oranges. Back into shape. Come. Okay, stop, stand still. Ball back with the keeper, please. Ball back with the keeper. Hey, Luke, can you just drop back a couple of yards for us, yeah, buddy? Where you started. Okay, so I'm just going to talk, come in. What did you do there when the keeper played it? Yeah, yeah, so you made an outside run. You've come in, you made a nice arc. Your arc and your run, brilliant. But you kind of stopped, yeah. yeah? So can we just demo what I'd like you to do? Yeah. High pressing, Jamie Vardy, as fast as we possibly can. Yeah. So go on, keeper, play it. So I'm going in at that angle. I only slow up here. I'm not slowing up for the right back here. So I'm going in. Nice high press, you've done it on the last one, you've got the ball open. So you're coming in, your angle is great, but you just got to deal with that high intensity. As he's coming in, me two wide forwards, what's he for use? As he's coming in here, what is he? Yeah, he's a trigger, yeah, exactly. So as he's coming in here, Chris, what have you got to be aware of? Very good. We don't want straight passes, same for yourself out there. If he's got on it, just move to the side a little bit. You don't want that at all, do we, Chris? But likewise, if you're too far in, I'll play it out here. And then we can carry. So you've got to be wary of that, yeah? If you're number six, are you all right with him? Yeah? So you could come in and shield him while watching the number nine, yeah? But if you about yourself, what could you do? Step in as well, yeah? He'll come with you naturally. Yeah, he's just gone ahead of you. You can see him. You're putting the pressure on there again. So we've got a unit nice and good. And then on midfield three, are we, pre are we providing the shield? Are we screening? What about the back four? What should we do now? Can we just get the ball? Yeah. So I'm on the ball here now. Centre back's on the ball. What are we back four going to do? Left full back, what should you be doing? No, don't worry about him. The ball's on this side of the pitch. What can you do? Yeah. Right back, what would you do? Brilliant. Centre back. Very good. Means left centre back. Say it again. Come across. Very good. So we shift when the ball shifts. And that all comes from the number nine and the pressure that he applies. So let, let's try it again. And we go from there. Well done. Hold it up, keeper. Play! No, no, no! 
Back to the way we did it. Play it to the man from the last one. No problem at all. Let's recreate the picture. Hold it up. Play. Good, good. Go on, apply the press. Well done, Chris. Positions reset again. Let's go, Buzzy. Good walk. Come on. Keep walking for me here, yeah? Wait till we're in position. Wait till we're in. And play. Okay, hold it over there. Right back. Well done. Just hold it up. Right, so fall back with the centre back. Yeah. Fall back with the centre back. Very good. And just come in a little bit here from yeah, wait man. Yeah, just come back. Just let's recreate a little bit. Just keep coming. What's your name? Evan. Evan, just keep coming, yeah. What's what's your name? Mark. Mark. So Mark's on the ball there. We've got good pressure from Luke. We come in. Boz has got that sorted, yeah? We can, we're marking him, no problem at all. So what we're looking for here is. Play the ball in, I'm going to take your position, yeah? So play the ball into me. So as it's travelling then, you're travelling with it. You get his head down as best you can. What would you be doing to help this guy? Coming in, he's already in there, what else could we provide? Yeah, just a little bit. Wide man, what can you do? Yeah, very good, so there, look at that. Okay, so that's a simple pass, give it back to me again. Just go five yards back there for a second, yeah? Just go five yards back. So we play it again. Centre back's on it. Play. If you're not travelling quick enough, I've got that easy ball out then again, yeah? So what we want to do, where have we got good numbers? Where have we got the good numbers? In the centre of the park, send them into the centre, yeah? So your run has got to be an arc done as well. So just play it back to the centre back. Can we just step in? Okay. So just centre back, play it to the right full again. And I'm coming in at an angle. I want to get his head down and send him at the very minimum. If I send them back, Luke, what should you do? Yeah, apply pressure from there. If he wants to go across here, Chris, what can you do for me? If I decide to play that pass, you can nick it. Bozzy, you're all right here. Fionn, the other deeper centre back, you can see the picture. Yeah. This man over here, you're happy with where he is. Me other centre mid, you're providing balance and cover. Full back, what will you be doing now? Half and half, yeah? Because you could travel as it travels as well. So you're coming, what will you do centre back? Coming over to the space, me other centre back. Me right back. Very good, me keeper. You can see the whole picture, yeah? So you've got to be communicating to the back four and letting them know to shuffle over. Once you do that then, we're all in a better position, yeah? So we go centre back, and I want to see it approaching in with that press from the side. Hold it up, and now we're looking to play. Go! Very good, very good, brilliant. Go on, aggressive press, yes, 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 brilliant, yes, play! Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant! Fucking great stuff! Fuck him, fuck him. 
We sat down there! Let's go with the keeper! Hey, come on! High energy! High energy! Let's go! Reset! Reset! Hold it up! Are we in position? Yeah? Play! Yes, Luke, that's the pressure we're talking about! Great pressure! Great pressure! We've got it! We've got it! Let's win it now! Let's win it! Keep going, well done! Great stuff! Yes, great goal! All came from the pressure! Keep on reset! Let's get our shape! Reset! Fuzzy, let's go! Get our shape! Let's go! Play! Now go and take the throw! Play real! Take the throw, play real! Go on, go on, you've won it now! Reset with the keeper! Nearly there! Nearly there! High energy! Play! Okay, it's... Stop, stand still! Let's bring it back there, centre back, brilliant, brilliant play over here, Man City, what's your name? David, David great stuff, let's get David the ball, okay, let's get David the ball there, Luke, just come in behind him where you were, yeah, so just in a little bit behind him there, so he's come in, Chris, we've got a decision to make now, because he's carrying the ball, don't we? So what could we have done, do you think? Yeah, absolutely, so, again, as I'd say, Luke, Although the ball has got past him, he's providing pressure from behind. Bozzy, what are you doing for us here? What's your role? So you're going for the press and so are you. So who should be coming in here? Let's have a look at their number six now. So what do you think you could do for me? Yeah, tuck in and let him do that. He can tuck in. So just come a little bit forward, Chris, you've done the right thing. So come, come to this side now. So now he's broke the press. So where do you think you want to send them? Inside, yeah. If you're sending him wide, he's out then. And that's what's happened. If you cut that off, you know you are right there? Yeah? And even if you isn't, where's the other midfielder? Yourself, is it? Come over. Can you come over there? Yeah? The three midfielders, Buzzy, Fjord. What's your name, young man? Tom. Tom. Pressure, cover, balance. All the time. He's come out of position here. You've got to have balance and cover. So you've got to, the ball is this side of the pitch. Don't worry about that. We'll deal with that. If Fiona's got to go out there now, what can you do for me? Very good. So the ball, let's take it in again. Oh, go on, Dave, you play it out for me. Okay, he's playing it out now. Fiona, what can you do? Yeah, go and press the ball, yeah? Go and press the ball. How do we press it? Yeah, send them inside. We don't want to go up there. So as that's travelling, you've got to make that the decision to go out there. But you can only do that if you come in for them. 
And while that's developing, although you've been out of play, what can you do? Brilliant. Brilliant. So let's get it back with Tom. Let's get it back with Tom. Brilliant stuff. So remember the trigger is come past Luke now. Fjord, you've got to talk to Tom. Bozzy, you've got to be involved. Pressure, cover, balance. Me midfield three. Yeah? Me centre backs. Can you come across? Me right back. Can you come across? Me left back. What can you do? Brilliant. Okay, David, play the ball. There we go. Johnny, go on! Yes! Yes! Brilliant! Good ball. Go on, punish! 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 Brilliant, keep going! Keeper! Clip one to your full back for me, will you? Good job, you look. Time out here, pal. Yeah. Go on, pull this at the top. Oh, good. Start with the ball back in the keeper, last couple! Bit of energy for me! Hey! Bit of energy here! Back with the keeper! Right, high press! Buzzy, have a look over the shoulder! Yeah, keeper, yeah! So we've got it off them now! There we go! Brilliant stuff, yeah! Okay, back into our position! Good stuff. Back over to the keeper with the ball. Left back be ready for this one for me, yeah, bud? Oranges, how we feeling? We got it. We got to win it back. So if we've got it, they're going to stop playing. Luke's straight on top of them. Bozzy's coming in. Chris is in. We've got the ball back. The keeper's going to alternate it now. So the odd time, he's going to do a clip in our side. So how do we react to that? What should we be doing? Yeah! So keep up! Great ball, by the way! Play the same pass for me! React, Orange! Now go back, go back, sorry, keep up, go again, you're alright, you're alright! Bad evening! So Chris just, yeah, nice and tight, that's alright! Yeah, alright, it's the way, Chris, give us it for a sec, yeah? Play it on the ground if you want. Play it on the ground, right? So we just simulate it. This is the ball. Oranges, what are we doing? So hold it up there, left back, yeah? So we've got on the ball now. Fury, can you just move back in a little bit? Five yards that way. Yeah, perfect stuff. So Chris, you're trying to apply pressure, yeah? But before that, what's the topic of it? What did we say? Defend them from where? So you're not out of this yet. Because of this, exactly. So the last time when he's got on it, we're five, ten yards off. So he can get it again. And he's good, he can play. So you're not out with this just because it's gone out there. You've got to be aware of it. Once it's travelling there, you're, he's five, ten yards there, he can get on it. So if that's me, what's your name? Sam. What's your name? Scott. So Scott's there, the ball has travelled. Fjord is and watching, play it into me. I can open up then, and that's the last thing we want. So you've got to apply good pressure there. If he's applying pressure, and he was the deepest man, pressure, come on, balance, what do I want you to do, Tom? Yeah, come back in. Buzzy, what do I want you to do? Yeah. Wait, right, ma'am, what can you do for me? Yeah, you can just wait. Yeah, it's a good position. Don't be afraid to say it. That's a great position. Me back four. The ball's on this side of the pitch again. Say it louder, Gav. Get across. Get across. Keeper, can you help them? Yeah, talking. He can see it. Left back, can you see the picture? Open up and talk. Yeah? So what we want now is pressure here. Cover and create balance for me. Yeah? Okay. Just up. We get, we get, we play with Dave. Into your feet, Chris. Just stay with our own play it in. We ready? 
I'm good, play! Good, Luke, good. Yes, yes! Come on, come on, let's win that, let's win that! Go on, go on! Go on, win it! Let's go, lads! Last player into me! Last player into me! Oh, I'm just letting out that we can see this. Blue's on me left, orange is on me right, please, nice and quick. Quick as we possibly can. Are you all okay? Right, okay. Oh, I mean, you can see that all right, yeah? Perfect, okay. So Blue's, what was I asking you to do? Goalkeeper, first of all, what was I asking you? Play out from the back. Play out from the back. What else, Blue's, what was I getting you to do? Play through the towards, exactly, yeah. Try pass as much as we can, get it into the midfield, play up through the towards. Brilliant, brilliant stuff, El Rose. Right, Red, so I was working with yourselves. So, front man then, Luke, where are you? What was I asking you to do? Close the gap a bit faster. Yeah, because your arc in the room was excellent, but what were you not doing? Short, you're stopping a bit short, yeah? Now, I'm not asking you to run in like a headless chicken, but you've got to get a bit closer before we steady down and get at the right angle then again. And then we've seen it near the end. Brilliant stuff. Me two wide men, me seven and me 11. Chris and Owen, is it? Evan. Evan. Sorry, what was I asking? So the ball's out on this side. What was I looking for you to do, Chris? Brilliant. So this one here, the ball is with the centre back. You already said it. No straight passes. Don't let that go in there. Okay, so if he's coming out there, Evan, what was I getting you to do? Yeah, so we're getting you to tuck back in. In this scenario, if the ball is on this side and Chris has come out, Evan, or Luke is recovering in, me 10 and me 6 are in there. Well, I'm asking you to just tuck in. I'm gonna, great stuff. Okay, me midfield three then. Uh, Fiony, Tom and Bozzy, what was I looking for out of yours? Three words I kept shouting. Pressure, cover, balance. Pressure, cover, balance, yeah? So the deepest man can see everything. I wanted you doing what? What did I want you to do, Fion? Make sure that what? Force them onto one side, so pressure the ball onto one side. Yeah, so make sure it's always on one Brilliant, yeah. So Tom, when Fuel went out on one side, what was I asking you to do? Cover in behind them. And Buzzy, even when the ball had gone by it a couple of times, what were we looking for you to provide for us? Yeah, balance, get back and help out. So it, we've seen them one of the scenarios, the ball has just come out beyond us, and we're caught up here, but we can recover and get in and help out then again. So that pressure, cover and balance. So my full backs then again, when the ball went wide, what was I looking for you to do? Yeah, cover across, step in, yeah. So if the ball is travelling, we travel out, we get the head down, delay or deny. We say that, delay or deny, send them back, don't let them open up. My two centre backs, when the ball came to this side, where are my two centre backs, Garvin? Yeah. Yourself, what was I asking you to do? Come across, and my left back? Come across as well, yeah. The danger is on this side of the pitch. We're going to look after this side of the pitch. Yeah? And goalkeeper, yeah. I, what was I asking you? What could you do for us? Just staying on the edge of the box or anything over the top, I was switching up and then just talking to the back four. Keep them tuned in to left and right, switching back and forth. Brilliant. What, what score was the match? 1-0 one 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 to the oranges. The, ball came, the, the goal came from high press. Well done, lads. Thanks so much. Thank